feeling today. I hope y'all taking care of y'all self. You know what I'm saying? So y'all know what to do. Subscribe and like and smack that doorbell for me, baby. You hear me? Ding dong. Now let's get busy, y'all. You dig what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm going uh, I'm gonna let this video take y'all. You dig what I'm saying? With CJ, you know what I'm saying? Explaining everything to y'all. You feel me? So y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Please show me love this way, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like this thing. You hear me? So I'm going to let CJ speak on this. And this ain't about what I told y'all to live around for. It's another one I'm going to let y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, get y'all some popcorns and sit back and chill. This ain't the one. You feel me? But right now, I'm going to let this video take off, baby, with CJ. So cool. You hear me? Let's go, baby. Right here. What you doing? Come on. That's all nice. Let's go get a breath of fresh air. You ain't got to tell me twice. Hey, Kamari, I'm going in the backyard if you need me, baby girl. Don't tell my house. Cool kids is your boy. So it's going on back again with another video, and as you can see, I'm in great spirits. And just not the title of this video, you guys are probably too. Uh, there is probably some of you guys that are confused since all you were saying was negative stuff anyway. Probably saying, How did they get caught? I thought it was fake. Yeah, you thought it was fake. Stupid. But there's nothing fake about getting woken up at three o'clock in the morning, getting shot. How many times you gotta say that? Anyway. Uh, I was sitting here watching this movie called Megan. It's crazy, by the way. And of course, Lexi put us on to it. She showed us. I ain't never heard of it. Uh, but that's irrelevant to the conversation. I was minding my business watching the movie, and phone rang, right? It's the detective. He called me. He don't really call me like that. So when he called me, I'm like, something. They found something, or you need to ask me something. First thing he said was, Cordero, I got great news. I said, my heart started racing. I'm like, what? What could be great news from a detective to me? So he starts to say it, and, and I had it on speakerphone. Lexi was right here, my mama was right here. I wish my camera was right here, but it's cool though. Um, the first thing he said was, Before I tell you, you cannot tell nobody this. So I said, All right, I didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell nobody. He was, then he started telling me, right? And then after he told me, he hung up, called me back for some more questions. And then he was like, well, you can say that we got them because it's going to come out anyway on the news tonight in a press release that the police are about to release to the press. I said, oh, y'all about to do a press release, huh? What the? He said, yeah, this is a pretty big deal. Um, I said, why? Is it because of, you know, that they shot me? He's like, no, it's because of who you are and where you stay. So I started thinking, like, I don't got to leave. Nope. You know why I don't got to leave? Because the police, y'all. Oh, however you guys say it, the police, the 5 the uh, whatever, the pig, the bacon, y'all always like to hate on them until y'all need them. Yeah, them. They told me basically without saying it, that when it comes to this neighborhood, they gonna get it done. Yes. Yeah, they actually spoke very loud and they got it done so fast. My house has been broken into before and yes, I've called the police about it. And yeah, they actually found the people that did it eventually, but it took damn near a year or longer. Bruh. And this situation, I mean, I ain't even been shot longer than two weeks, and they already got the people. Damn. Now, I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just saying they got the people. But when I am able to tell y'all how many people oh, was involved, y'all going to lose y'all mind, bro. Y'all going to go crazy because that's almost what I did. I almost went crazy. I thought it was, you know, the people I saw. But it ended up being the people I saw multiplied, added, won. Come on, man. Like, they doing way too much out here for CJ. So cool. So... My word of advice to you guys, parents, and you guys' family, 
because you guys can't watch this video. You're in jail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My advice to you guys as parents is uh, try to raise your kids better. I know it's hard out here. It's a recession. Everybody's struggling. Um, money is definitely needed in a lot of different areas and a lot of different homes. But uh, running up in somebody's house with masks, vests, and guns isn't always the best answer. I mean, and it doesn't always lead to the best outcome. There's death, injury, even jail. And uh, from this experience, no one died, thank God, but there was definitely injury, look at me, and there's definitely jail, look at them. So it's never a good thing to, and it ain't even got nothing to do with me or my neighbor, it's never a good thing to run up into somebody's house trying to steal their things for your benefit. I know you guys are tired of the cliche, get a job, blah, 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 right? Maybe your job ain't gonna cut it, but you need to do something else. Okay, if you really want to be a hit man and all this crazy stuff y'all see on TV, y'all think really works in real life, then maybe you should go apply to be a movie star because then you can do it legally and get paid and it's fake so you ain't got to worry about real consequences happening. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to be serious. Like y'all always be saying like, I can't take CJ serious. You don't know when I'm joking or when I'm not, right? I'm serious right now, man. I'm very proud of the Henderson Police Department. I'm proud of the detectives. I'm proud of Las Vegas if they helped. I'm proud of everybody who teamed up to find the people that did this to me. All right? Now, if they didn't shoot me, it would still be as serious to me. But would the police have acted like this? I don't know. So I'm just grateful that everything happened the way it happened. I'm grateful that I'm alive. They missed all major arteries. I didn't need any surgery. I didn't need any blood transfusions. And I didn't need to move because guess what? I'm the one that ran them up out of here. So all these things happen in a bad situation. You got to think about the good things. And I just mentioned the good things. The bad things are I did get an infection. I am down. I can't go anywhere. And I am slacking on my YouTube videos. There are a lot of bad things that came with them busted up in my house, shooting up my property. But there, like I said, are some good things that came out of it too. We got to see who really cares about me. We got to see who really don't care about me. We got to, you know, we got to live and learn. And this is my first situation going through like this, anything like this. So I'm learning a lot and it's still an ongoing process. Um, but the fact that I'm trying to, sorry, I have, uh, what's it called? Acid reflex. Ever since I've been sitting down, Lexi's been cooking a lot of food. I've been experiencing acid reflexes, but that ain't nothing. What's important is they got caught and they probably were feeling invincible. You know, like, oh, we got away, but we didn't get away with anything, but we got away. And they didn't get away. And I'm just like, very grateful that I'm not a criminal and I'm not involved in any illegal activities that will have me behind bars because guess what? That's not a good place to be for anybody. Even if you're comfortable in there, you got your homies in there, it's still not a place you really rather be. So these dudes, I'm not gonna say they're gonna spend the rest of their life in jail because we know how they go, but these dudes are gonna sit down for some time and they're gonna have to think about the, the, the things that they did. And I'm gonna still be out here living the life that God provided for me and the universe provided for me. And I'm gonna be blushing and I'm gonna be blossoming, and I'm gonna be elevating and leveling up, and they're gonna be stagnant. And they're gonna be a statistic, because statistics say that most black men don't make it past 21 or we end up in jail, and they're adding to that statistic. I mean, it sucks, but it's true. And I'm trying to keep people from doing that. So it's like, you know, when I say I'm motivating you guys, I'm really motivating you guys. I'm showing you that you can pick up a camera instead of a gun. You can make just as much money, if not more, in a safer way. Like, look at me, I ain't gotta kill nobody. I don't have to steal anything, and I have what they want. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be different if I stole what I got, and they trying to steal it from me, but I earned what I have, and I showed you guys every step of the way. I gave you the blueprint. Anybody can do this. I've put massive people on. I've shown people the way, and it's always worked. So there's no need for you to run up in my house and try to take what I earned for myself. Now, that being said, the detective said I am very safe. I don't got nothing to worry about, which means I can get my kids. But the thing about that is, that's another situation. I knew it. See, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my kids because of the confrontation that took place that I wasn't involved in once again. I never involve myself in any type of situation that can get me in trouble. Now, if it finds its way to me, that's totally different, but I don't involve myself in it. Even if it finds its way to me, I know how to deflect situations very good. Um, that being said, I'm gonna need y'all to pray for me and I'm gonna need y'all to figure out for me how I'm gonna be able to get my kids because like I said, it's the same place here. The people that was involved, they're all gone. All of them. Every last one of them. Don't you leave up. <laughs> a lot of them. They all gone. So, um, and I don't think that they gonna be sending their other homies to their death trap. 
Like, come on, bro. If y'all didn't do it successfully, don't think that they gonna do it successfully. Nope. No one's successfully doing anything negative to me because I am protected and shielded by the blood of the Holy Spirit. Now, some of you don't understand, but it's true. All right, so when those doctors looked at me and said, you must have angels watching over you. It ain't no must, lady, it's serious. Yeah, I do have angels watching over me. It's a normal thing, um, but I'm just grateful that I'm still here and that God saw fit for me to stay here. It must be something powerful for me, for me to be uh, doing down here in order for him to think that it was you know, worth me staying because there are major arteries in your legs. You can actually get shot in your leg and bleed to death. That is true, you can look it up. So for me to have both my legs shot and me not, you know, and I definitely was bleeding to death walking around looking for him. And that's the thing, that's why I knew it was a lot of people. I'm like, bro, I gotta check my house, bro. This don't make sense, this don't make sense. So anyway, if you were able to see that video of the blood all everywhere that d recorded, um, I think I posted it on Facebook because my baby mama said they was hating, saying it wasn't real and they needed proof. So, of course, me trying to, you know, always prove everybody wrong, I posted a video of myself, of my blood on the internet like they even matter to me. I don't care about them. They ain't nothing. But, of course, I was going through a stage where, like, I just didn't know what happened. And on top of that, people was blaming me and saying it wasn't real. So, I was just in a prove myself, you know, state. And I don't got to do that. So, uh... Those of you that got to see that, you saw there was a lot of blood, right? And those are just for my leg wounds. So if that's a lot of, if that blood came from me, imagine a major artery getting hit. It would be way worse. So I'm blessed for sure. You guys are blessed because you're here watching this video. And uh, I mean, we got to give it up for the police department. We always like to hate on them, and, and you know, because they do do, not all of them, some of them do crazy stuff. Be right back, daddy, getting peach cobbler stuff. I don't know what you want for dinner too. Oh, dang, Lexi, <laughs> I put you on blast. Uh, what we eat for dinner? My eyes come up with everything. Y'all don't come up with nothing. You don't know how to cook no dang on peach cobbler. Bruh. Anyway, we have a peach cobbler for dinner today. We celebrated. My mama popped open some champagne when the, when the detective called me, man. It was a good feeling, great feeling. Look, I don't want to see nobody dead or in jail. But if you actually trying to hurt me or my family, where else you think I want you to be at? Stupid. I mean, you think I want you to be right next to me chilling? No, like, bro, take your butt somewhere else and sit down where people like you sit down at. All right, so that being said, man, we have to, in the comment section, W to the police department. Yes, push up. Because if it wasn't for the police department, this wouldn't happen. I didn't find them sitting here on the couch. Nope. None of my friends found them and beat them, beat them up. You know what I'm saying? It was literally the police working so hard day in and day out. And I'm not doing this because I owe them. You know, this is their job, but I do feel obligated to spread the word and the positivity about the police. Like everything has its goods and bads. Like I was telling you about me getting shot. There's actually some good that came out of it, right? So the police may have some crooked cops, but all of them ain't crooked because if that was the case, they would have just swept my case under the rug and I would have still been sitting here not knowing what to do. But that's not what happened. And I'm black. So you guys can relate to me and you can understand that if they help me out, they will help you out too. You just got to respect the police. You got to do what they ask you to do and don't cross them. If you're doing illegal things, of course you're the enemy of the police. If you ain't doing nothing illegal, what the heck you got to worry about the police beating on you for? They're not going to do that. All right? So stay mannerable. Always have manners when you talk, even if it ain't the police. You should have manners anyway. We should learn how to talk to each other and actually love and respect each other. Like, this is something that I'm, I'm learning in my head after sitting down so long. Like, maybe we should be nicer, you know? We only do live once, and life is unexpectedly short. It's a lot of things that I started to think about as I've been sitting here, and that's probably why I haven't been posting videos. I've just been like, you know, doing what everyone said I should have been doing anyway. Taking some time away, thinking, learning myself, trying to understand what God was trying to show me when he wanted me to sit down. Why he wanted me to sit down. Who did he want me to stay away from? You know, I don't know, but... I do know this, you guys are awesome. Everyone that's just been in my corner, I've been reading the prayers, I've been seeing the positive comments, and the negative comments, it's like I don't even see them no more. I don't know what happened. They disappear. I appreciate that too. But uh, this video right here, we gotta drop a like on this. We caught the people that did this. We caught the people that plotted. We caught the people that planned. And then we got the people that tried to execute it. We got all of them, okay? Not just the people that shot me. We got everybody, they whole little squad. So. That is definitely a W, man. Cell phones, they always get you caught. So when you're on your cell phone, remember, if you do anything illegal, you're snitching on yourself.
Just remember that, all right? No one's snitching on anybody these days. People are snitching on themselves. That's just true. I got a very, very, very cool thing over there I'm looking at. It is my shoe. Um, this is the second pair that I received. The first pair was a prototype. This is a prototype almost complete. The box is also here. The, it's, it's the prototype as well. I'm just looking at it. It's so cool to see, and it's just like, it's something to look forward to. Like my injuries, I'm, I'm looking forward to healing, right? I'm looking forward to walking again and being able to be a regular individual, driving my Lamborghini. But most importantly, I'm looking forward to releasing my first shoe. Yes, like, sir. How amazing is it that I went through a traumatic situation like this? The people got caught. It's gonna be all over the news and I got shoes coming out. Like God is trying to show me something. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to another level. I'm leveling up, and it always gets worse before it gets better. It don't ever get bad before it gets worse, because that don't make sense. Nope. And if it does happen that way, that sucks. But I would love to have my vegetables before my dessert. So if this is my vegetables, then so be it. I'm going to live with it. I'm going to accept it. And God willing, I'm going to continue to survive through anything that happens. Uh, I made this video because not only because they caught them, but because I was reading the comments and somebody said, please, CJ, even if you just got to talk, Make a video. We want to see you, man. Please. So, I wasn't going to make this video because the police told me not to tell anybody anything. He did say, I can say that they they made some arrests. But he didn't, he told me not to say it, nothing else. And I didn't say anything else. Uh, I'm waiting on Lexi to come back. So, until then, we're going to put this video up later. So, I'm reading, I'm sitting here reading right now the Henderson Police Department. They released the uh, statement and photos. So, I mean, if they talking, I'm as well talk too. Um, it said, innocent police arrest attempted homicide suspects. On January 12, 2023, about 3 a.m., innocent police and fire were dispatched to the area of my neighborhood, of course. Henderson investigators, along with the assistance from the criminal apprehension team, AKA CAT, identified five subjects in connection to the attempted homicide. Investigators identified the subject, the suspects involving a 28-year-old Raven Queen, a 26-year-old Derek Roberts, and three juveniles. Queen and Roberts were taken into custody and booked into the Henderson Detention Center on the following. Oh, dang it, Chop calling. What's up, Chop? I was making a video. <laughs> oh, you're making a video? Yes, sir. How you feel? I feel better now they got caught. I feel like a weight, and it's not even me. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Good, good, good. Glad, glad. You, you want to film and then hit me back? Uh, I got you, man. All right, y'all. Okay, I don't know where I was at, but... <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is where I was at, reading off their charges. They got one count of attempted murder with a deadly weapon, one count of battery with the use of a deadly weapon causing substantial bodily harm, one count of robbery with a deadly weapon, one count of burglary while in possession of a deadly weapon, and one count of home invasion. The three juveniles were each charged with the above listed offenses. Yes, sir. You see that? So they ain't even let the juveniles out. You acting grown, you get treated like you grown. The booking photo for Queen and Roberts are attached. The CAT task force is an FBI-led federal fugitive task force consisting of the FBI Las Vegas Division, Henderson Police Department, North Las Vegas Police Department, Nevada State Police, and Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. As this is an open investigation, no further details will be released at this time. Dang. So they used the FBI to find these people, bro. That's how they found them, man. So basically, don't mess with me. Nope. Okay? The FBI is going to find you. Cat, they're going to find you. Las Vegas, Henderson, all of them things I just named, they're gonna come and they're gonna get you. It's not a joke, it's not TV, okay? I know you guys watch TV, people get away with all kinds of stuff. Maybe they do, but in this neighborhood, they're not gonna get away with it, okay? I'm just letting you know right now. So, that being said, it's never a good idea to join a life of crime for money. There's a lot of ways you can get money. You can go ask for it. <laughs> you can go to college, get a grant, student loan. That's cash, like, <laughs> trust me, I know. You can do a lot of stuff, but uh, ah. nobody mama taught them how to run up in nobody's house. Well, for the exception of that lady that we just saw. What's her name again? Raven Queen. Hey, bro. Let me show y'all what she looked like. She might be oh, teaching her kids to do God. stuff like that. And of course, this guy next to her might be doing that stuff. But me, 
I would never teach my kids to do this. Now look at them. Look at them. They look real tough, don't they? Nah. Not even a little bit tough. Nope. He looks scared and she also looks scared. They look afraid. Afraid because they didn't know that the consequences were going to be this substantial, this quick, with no reward. Like they got nothing. Stupid. Literally ran up in my house and ran out with nothing. Come on, man. But now y'all got time. Hard time. Now, the big question everybody want to know is, who they connected to? Y'all heard Chop. Who they was connected to? Who they connected to? Who sent them? Was this? This can't be random, right? I mean, at the end of the day, there are people that watch me. And we don't know everyone that watches me. They could have watched them. They could have watched me themselves and, you know, just came up with this plan and said, you know what, let's just do it. Or maybe they knew somebody that knew somebody that didn't like me. I don't know. But I guess we'll never know until they start snitching. Because they in jail. So, I mean, they, they say it's still open. I mean, they might start snitching. You never know. I don't, I don't know who has anything to do with it. I just know that these people right here, all five of them, I know earlier in this video I said I wasn't gonna say nothing, but look, that was before this released. And I was just looking online and I just seen it. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Now everybody calling me now, man. What up, Kev? Yo, bro, you sound like you're in a better mood right now. Yeah, man, you know, I'm in a I'm in a better mood for sure, man. You know. Man, we need to find a way to have something like a little small fucking celebration or some shit. I mean, well, I'm opposed to you guys bringing anything you want over here. I'm cool with it. Got it, got it. We're gonna probably be wrapping it up for the night, but we just getting off of work right now, and I gotta get up early in the morning. Yeah. We don't definitely be there tomorrow, bro. For sure, man. Party at my house, man. We ain't man, going nowhere. Good, bro. We ain't going nowhere, man. They ain't running us up out of it. Good as fuck, bro. Yes, sir. I feel you, man. I'm happy as hell, bro. I'm gonna drink some Gatorade. What? I mean, it don't make you, it don't heal your wounds or nothing, but just knowing somebody being held accountable for this shit, bro. And they ain't just That's running cool. around freely. Yeah, 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 because I was like, man, I was like, if they just shelf this shit and just go like to a cold, yeah. fuck shit. That'd be messed up, man. Yeah. They didn't do All me right, like bro. that. Thank you, man. Keep your head up, bro. Yes, sir. Like I say, you remember all that positive shit we was on, that positive vibe? Yeah. It don't stop, bro. Of it course not. Stop. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, big brother. Shine. They never can. You about, to come back. you about to come back better, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's do it, right. man. I'll let you, man. All right. So, yeah, man. Everybody's excited right now that these two idiots made the headlines. Stupid. And uh, all five of them got arrested. I mean, I really wish I could see what the, the other three look like. Now, juveniles is between the ages of 15 through 17. So, these, you telling me that two of the people, three of the people, was between them ages. They let these two, 28 and 26 year old, convince them. Was they all cousins or something? I need some names, man. I don't care if they're kids. I need some names. We need to know who they were, who they were connected to. Did somebody go to school and set this up? Like, it's a lot of stuff that needs to be answered, bro. Like, I'm telling you, we got to really ask ourselves, how did juveniles get involved? Okay? You know what I'm saying? Who know, who know, who know the kids out here? Who go to school with the kids out here? I don't know, man, but you know what I'm saying? I'm a... I'm going to just have to rethink everything now. I was a little ecstatic, excited, happy, pleased with the results. But now it might be something else to worry about. What if the kids that's still out there that didn't get caught got more kids that might be down for the cause? You know, everybody trying to die for something. Some people trying to die for fame. Some people trying to die for clout. Some people trying to die just to leave this earth. But these people that came up in my house must have had a death wish because why are you running up in my house? I was in the Navy. Do you know what that means? Okay, you don't know what that means. Okay, I was in a presidential honor guard. You don't know what that means? Okay, you don't know what that means. I grew up in Gary, Indiana, a war zone. Do you know what that means? Listen, you don't go up in somebody's house that is ready to protect his, his own self. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready. So don't, don't do that. It's a death wish when you do stuff like that. You want to rob somebody? Rob your mama purse or something like that. You know, maybe she will have sympathy for you, compassion. Maybe she won't, you know, kill you, shoot you. But running up in my house or anybody else's house is just not going to come out to be good. Don't go up in no old person's house. Don't go up in nobody's house when they ain't there. Don't go up in nothing that ain't yours. It's easy. Stay away from things that aren't yours. You stay out of jail. Because I'm telling you right now, they don't want to be in jail. They'd rather be outside on their phone, scrolling, smoking weed, drinking, chilling, hanging out with the homies. 
you know, just kicking it, right? Not doing anything, but they rather not be in jail, not doing anything. That's a big difference. Not doing anything in these streets and not doing anything in jail is two totally different things. But, you know, that's for them to find out, not me. I'm going to be here. I'm going to embrace this moment. We're going to embrace this moment together. This is a great feeling for me. Um, we overcome a lot. I, I was, I'm a survivor. I'm a warrior. I'm a fighter. And not only that, I'm a living testimony. And the people that did this to me, they, they already got held accountable for it. They're in trouble. It don't get no better than that. You know what I'm saying? When, when someone does something to you, you want something to happen to them, right? So they didn't kill me. Of course, I'm not going to wish death on them. But I want something to happen to them. I want them to sit down like me and have to think about life like I got to. That's exactly what happened. It's crazy. I mean, I got what I asked for. Law of Attraction is real. So if you believe in Law of Attraction, continue to believe in it. Use it for positive things. And uh, positive things will start to happen. So right now, the only thing I'm thinking about is becoming bigger, um, you know, better, stronger, smarter, faster. Everything that I need to become to elevate to the next level and continue elevating so that my family will no longer need to work. You know, I want to make sure my kids, 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 kids are all good off of the decisions that I made in my lifetime. And that's all possible. I just got to do right by my legacy. And everything starts over after I got shot. Everything is different. I'm not wasting my money on all that design no more. I don't care about all that. Because guess what? Y'all here for me. Not for that. All right? I'm not buying no more jewelry. I got enough jewelry. I got enough to pass around. I don't need to buy no more jewelry. All right. Done with all that. I'm going to keep that video up there. I'm going to keep that video on pause, baby. You heard me? So you know what I'm saying? I ain't let it run all the way through. But anyway, you know. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> he was saying that he ain't going to, you know what I'm saying, do such stuff no more. He ain't going to, you know what I'm saying, cop no more jewelry or nothing like that. You dig what I'm saying? Which that good, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes... You know what I'm saying? CJ do get a little side. He get a little happy. See something he like. He gon' he gon' get it. So, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna see how long that he gon' you know what I'm saying last. You feel me? He said he, you know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna be doing no design or nothing like that. You dig? But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? The man in the good spirit. You feel me? And that's good here in the good spirit. You feel me? Because you know what I'm saying? If you ain't in that good spirit, if you ain't got God in your life, you know what I'm saying, you ain't gonna have that good spirit. So, so you know, some type of way, you know what I'm saying, God is really, you know what I'm saying, working with you. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying, as long as you work on yourself, God gonna work with you, baby. You feel me? And I stand on 10 and all bidding. That's on God, for real. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you know what I'm saying, by, by God was being by his side at all that time. He ain't have to go through no surgery, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because people do die, leg shot, shoulders, you know what I'm saying? Ankles, you know what I'm saying? It depends on what type of, you know what I'm saying, how that bullet hit. If it ricochet, hit other bone, then it hit, you know what I'm saying, organs and all this and that there, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm just glad the man, you know what I'm saying, good spirit, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully that, uh, 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 he can bear to see his kids, you feel what I'm saying? But to me, you know what I'm saying? See, yeah, if you're watching me, you know what I'm saying? You, your best bet, I'm going to tell you what you can do, partner. Go get you a lawyer, man. I'm telling you, man. Ain't nothing wrong with getting a lawyer for you to see your, you know what I'm saying, your kids, man. Because I'm going to tell you something. It ain't nothing wrong with it. It ain't bad. It ain't like you trying, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, do, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know how people be mad and they do evil, evil and all that. You ain't doing that. You just want to see your, you know what I'm saying, your little princess, you know what I'm saying, your jit. You feel what I'm saying? Which that's understandable. You dig what I'm saying? So, man, get your lawyer, man. You know what I'm saying? If she get mad, let her get mad. You feel what I'm saying? Because let me tell you something. She ain't going to never work with you, man, as long as you got Lexi around you. And I stand on that. You feel what I'm saying? But to me, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if, if that's going to be, if Lexi going to be, your woman for real, one day you marry, you dig what I'm saying? She ain't gonna have to have nothing but no choice to let that them kids be around Lexi, you feel what I'm saying? I ain't like Lexi gonna, you know what I'm saying? Do do something to them little angels, you dig what I'm saying? She ain't that, that girl ain't built like that. I can tell you she ain't built like that. You feel what I'm saying? So man, get your lawyer, man. You know what I'm saying, man? For you can see your, you know what I'm saying? Your little princess, man, you dig what I'm saying? And your jit, you dig what I'm saying? Because man, ain't nobody else gonna really, you know what I'm saying? help you do that you got to do that you feel what i'm saying 
Because, man, you know what I'm saying, man? Don't be stuck in a position like everybody that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm stuck in a position like that. You feel me? And you know what I'm saying? And it do hurt, but at the same time, I know that I can't, you know what I'm saying, really do nobody because I ain't got, you know what I'm saying, paper to go get a lawyer. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, man, go ahead, man. Don't don't make the same mistakes, man, that a lot of people did, like I did. You dig what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because a woman got their own ways. You feel me? Because nine times out of ten, you dig what I'm saying? In the long run, I don't care if them kids be five and six years old. If royalty decide to stick with that dude, them kids going to be around that dude. And then she's going to try to break it down to you. Well, you know, I'm going to let you see the kid. And it have been on a year, two years of past. You feel what I'm saying? Well, we getting together. We're going to stay together. And, you know, so since he's going to be around the kids, now I can, you know what I'm saying, let my kid be around Lexi and you. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to go through all them hiccups, man. Just do what you need to do. You feel me? Don't do it out of spite. You dig what I'm saying? I know you ain't doing it out of spite. But, man. Handle that the right way, you know what I'm saying? Dead that, you dig what I'm saying? Because them kids, man, need to be around you, man. You know what I'm saying? And ain't no wrong with them kids being around Lexi. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't no wrong with that, girl. You feel me? That's just a woman, wicked way. You see what I'm saying? Every, not all women, so I'm going to take it back. Certain women, they got their own little wicked ways, man. You feel me? Not standing on 10, all business. That's on God, you dig? But anyway, that's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I hope y'all appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? The video, you know what I'm saying? The content that I'm trying to put out there. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just like, you, you feel me? Share, you feel me? But like I told you, this ain't the one I want y'all to sit down and get no popcorn. You know what I'm saying? After this one, it might be out probably, look for probably Tuesday, Wednesday. I want y'all to sit back, you know what I'm saying? You might be coming home late from work. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? It go for, you know what I'm saying? People my age, young people, you dig what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to hear this, this dude's story, story. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people have been in that position. That's why I tell y'all, I've been around a lot. You feel what I'm saying? I've been behind that cage, too. And I know what goes on behind that cage. You dig? But anyway, enough of that. I'm going to scratch that. You dig what I'm saying? Love y'all. Y'all keep, you know what I'm saying? Show me love, please. You know what I'm saying? It will help my channel, my YouTube channel. You dig? So, Y'all take care of y'all self, you know what I'm saying? And behave out there, you know what I'm saying? Be nice, you feel what I'm saying? Have respect, you dig what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm going to sign off from y'all, man. I'm gone, baby, I'm gone.